Come on, baby. You oh, look yeah. so nice oh, in blue. Oh, you like him in blue? Yes. You mm -hmm. like him anyway, though, well, don't you? Yes, I do. I know you do. Well, she's do a good practical joke. you how long junior. we have all been friends? I know. Don't tell me. How long has it been? <laughs> have you edited it up? No, but I remember, and I, I'm just reminding you in case you haven't bought your husband anything yet, but... She's getting ready to. You're getting ready to celebrate your tenth wedding anniversary. Right. I went to your wedding. That's right. In a couple. And of she weeks. was so beautiful. Oh. And I know I say this every time I see you. It's the prettiest bride I ever saw. Oh, Louise, thank um, you. Well, very, thank very you. Nice to say that. Yeah, you know, ten years we're getting ready to celebrate. Anyway. It's funny. You, funny you should mention that because I was at the wedding too, and I've told you this story before. Because mm -hmm. Lorianne, you know, walked down the aisle. I was seated behind the Mandrell sisters. You, Barbara, and Erlene. And all of you had your hair poofed out to here. I couldn't see a thing. I'm serious. Well, well, Moran's getting married, and I'm in the back, you know, doing one, doing one of these hair. numbers like, hey, you know. Yeah, all three of you oh, right well, in front of me. Well, some that. stiff competition that night. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. Hey, you know, I remember one time I asked you about the fact that you dance so energetically in your shows, and you still sing live. And I mentioned something. I said, why don't you just record your music and lip sync? Mm -hmm. And you looked at me like that was blasphemy, and you said, <laughs> you, said you would never do that. Why no. would you never do that? Well, uh, first of all, I love audiences, and I like getting to know someone. I don't think it's important, as important as how I sound or how I look mm -hmm. as that one-on-one -on -one to people. And when you lose that honesty, you lose everything. I well, think see, that's interesting. Now, you have a great attitude, and mm -hmm. that's why she was named, recently, Branson Entertainer of the Year. <laughs> Thank you. And that's pretty sick competition. Right <laughs> Thank you. I have a lot of friends in Branson, and, and um, of course, that award could have gone to anyone because they all deserved it. I just finished up there, so mm -hmm. after a three-year contract, I left a bunch of my friends, and uh, I'm going to miss them. But see, you, you, I know you put in a lot of hard work on your stage show, a lot of choreography and all that. How much rehearsal do you actually, do you do rehearsal in addition to the regular show? Oh, this, yes, yes. Every day? Well, uh, only if I want to learn it. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, yes, every day. I, we work very, very hard, and, but we love it. And when you're having fun, uh, it's okay, as yeah. long as you're enjoying it. My mom and dad love to work. My, uh, I can remember growing up when, when other relatives would take vacations or my Aunt Linda would take us on a trip or mm -hmm. whatever. But I would ask my parents, it was, it was so strange, because like, what, don't you think we're having a good time? Isn't this fun? <laughs> but my family just has always loved working. Yeah. Although Barbara's in Aspen vacationing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hi, Barbara. I know. Yeah. We're having a wonderful time. Gotta have some time off. Yeah, well, you even work hard when you play. I think the mm -hmm. hardest thing I've ever done is learning how to shoot clays like you do, and you are so good at it. Oh, thank you. Tell, tell us about the special that's coming up on Wednesday. On, uh, on the 11th, and I hope everyone have a chance to see this, we uh, did a shooting tournament to raise money for Boy Scouts, and mm -hmm. it's the first annual, annual Louise Mandrell Celebrity Shoot, and I am very, very proud of it. It was a tremendous success, and of course, I came on before sharing with, my, with you my love for Boy Scouts, and mm -hmm. the last two years, Scouts has, the, the Boy Scouts have taken a stand to keep God in scouting, and I have taken a stand to help them because of that. How nice. And I know there are a lot of scouts out there, and we're awfully proud of you. A lot of young people today need that encouragement because we're so busy pointing fingers saying, you're doing all the wrong things instead of lending a hand. Mm -hmm. The Boy Scouts are truly uh, something that our country should be proud of. Scouts are a great organization. Yeah. Yes. They really are. I was a Girl Scout. I was a Boy Scout myself. And a brownie and all that. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's show the folks a little bit about the special here. Now, you got... Your sister Barbara out there to shoot. How, how'd she do? She do all right? Oh, she did. Oh, she, she did really well. And both my sisters, this is a new sport. Although Barbara shoots all the time. I mean, all the time. I think it's because she can't stand it. There is something I'm beating her at, uh -huh. and I encourage it because I have taken advantage of her popularity and fame to, to uh, capture a little bit on television. Gerald McRaney was the co-host, uh, uh, an incredible co-host. Didn't mind hard work. I, I had him work from early in the morning to late at night. We had a lot of celebrities. Alabama. It was a great lineup of stars, and of course my little sister Erlene, who kind of hung out with me all day. We had a tremendous time. Well, I brought some clips. Yeah, let's see the first one here. I think first it's Barbara. Barbara, right? Barbara. She, I'm not sure is. which is first. Okay, I think Let's it's Barbara happened. first. Watch this. Oh. Wow, you oh. did great! Yes, you were wonderful. Well, thank you. Oh, I can't believe you just started, and look at you now. I can't believe you came when I shot one. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Thank you.
appreciate you being here. Thank you. That's yeah, good. so That's shooting good. one is very exciting yeah, when you're just starting certainly. out. Certainly. Okay, now let's go to the other clip, which is, I think, all three of you. I think together. it's both my sisters, yes. All right. Well, you see the family competition here, I think. <laughs> oh, these are, these see, girls right? are so competitive. All right, what's this? What happened? What happened right well, here? I lifted my head. So Albert said, keep your head down. And Erlene's got a bruise on her arm. No, 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 no. It's Louise's fault. You know why? What? You didn't tell me that this was an off the show to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's silly. I mean, those things are dangerous because if you don't put your, your face right on the gun, it will smack you pretty mm -hmm. hard. Well, to tell you the truth, the women that day embarrassed a lot of men. All the women shot incredibly. Some of the, we had new shooters that were women that were on the winning team. It, it, it was an unbelievable day of shooting. And wow. this truly is a sport, ladies, this is a sport that we have equal opportunity mm -hmm. with the men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, and you're, you're very good at she it. Is. I know Thank you practice you. a lot. Okay, this is airing uh, Wednesday night. 8 o'clock Eastern, right here on the National Network. Louise Mandrell, Celebrity Shoot. And we'll be back with more Music City tonight. See you back later, too. We have another fun show planned for you tomorrow night. Our special guests include Jimmy C. Newman, Bailey and the Boys, the McCarters, and another exciting edition of Mate Match. Join us tomorrow night on Music City Tonight with Brooke and Chase.